What's going on guys? James here coming at you Gunsmith Clothing Co. We're going to continue on today with our specialty bar series talking about the trap bar. The trap bar is one of the most common specialty bars there is out there. Most gyms, in fact just about every gym I, I've been to has, a, has at least one. They're a really great tool for assisting you in strength building and technique and mobility. They're an awesome tool. Uh, there's a wide variety. It's probably the most variable bar there is. So this is the trap bar. This is from Rogue. This is the Rogue trap bar. And you can see it's quite a long bar, okay? The collars are a little bit longer than a normal tra normal trap or hex bar. And you can see that this one also has an additional support that some bars don't have. Some bars it kind of goes from right here over. And so this part becomes much shorter. And then some bars don't even have this. It's kind of open here, so you can kind of walk right into it. The nice thing about this Rogue bar, too, is it has this extra little attachment here. And so if you flip this bar over, this becomes a higher handle. And so it almost becomes kind of like the equivalent of doing a block pull. So instead of pulling from your shin, you're almost pulling just below your knees. It decreases the range of motion necessary to grab the bar, which is great for teaching people how to get into position without rounding their lower back. There's just a huge, huge, huge variation from bar to bar, but they all basically serve the same purpose, and that's offering up a variation of the deadlift. Why, why do you need a variation for the deadlift? First off, the deadlift is one of the best movements you can provoke perform and everyone should perform some version of the deadlift. The only issue that comes in is some people lack the mobility to be able to perform a deadlift correctly and some people lack the form to be able to perform a deadlift correctly with a straight bar. And some people really can't afford to risk the injury that comes or the, the injury or the lower back fatigue that comes with a traditional deadlift with a straight bar. And so that where, that's where the hex bar or the trap bar becomes super effective because it allows a variation that is a little bit less taxing on the lower back than the traditional straight bar which is great for your average Joe who who doesn't compete in powerlifting or who doesn't compete in a strength sport who still wants to be able to deadlift but can't really afford to get hurt or risk injury in the gym you know so it's a great variation it's also a really good variation for athletes because it allows the athletes to perform deadlifts without risking or fatiguing their lower back because when you're training athletes they're not training to become good weightlifters they're trying to become better at their sport and so the sport is the main priority if you do an exercise that is dangerous and takes them out of their being able to practice for their sport, you're not really serving a purpose. It doesn't matter if you get them stronger if they can't perform their sport. So the trap bar deadlift allows you to train athletes with the deadlift movement and the same basic principles of the deadlift without subjecting them to the lower back injuries or other injuries that can become associated with a traditional straight bar deadlift. That's not to say that performing a deadlift incorrectly doesn't mean you should never do a deadlift. The, the nice thing about doing the trap bar deadlift is it's very easy to pick up quickly and efficiently and develop good form with it. When I used to do personal training um, and I would have some clients that had like really poor mobility, it was a great kind of way of getting their feet wet with some sort of deadlift variation. Bar makes it a lot easier for you to maintain an upright chest and upright position and not compromise your lower back while performing the deadlift. The traditional deadlift where the bar is in front of you, bar actually has a tendency to go away from your center of gravity. So it pulls you forward and so people end up rounded over and rounding their lower back and that's where they open themselves up to some injuries. Whereas with the trap bar, since the handles are neutral and at the sides, it actually allows you to keep your hands in line with your body. It allows you to keep the weight more towards your center of gravity, so you're less likely to round forward and lose position. It actually becomes more of an upright deadlift because your, handles, your hands are so close to your side. Since you're more upright, you get a little bit more quads engaged in this. Most people tend to be a little bit stronger with this movement than a traditional deadlift simply because it, puts, it, it allows you to stay in a better position throughout the whole movement 
as opposed to with a heavy deadlift. Sometimes if the bar doesn't move initially, you end up keeling forward and rounding over and losing position much quicker. So it's a lot easier to maintain position throughout the movement, which is why it's such a great tool for the average person who's just not who's just trying to get a little bit stronger not necessarily worrying about competing really the only variations you can perform with this deadlifts farmer carries shrugs and overhead presses if you really wanted to as well kind of it's kind of a nice variation of overhead press or push press um, where the handles are neutral and so it feels kind of good but traditionally it's just shrugs deadlifts and farmer carries really great tool for those of you who aren't worried about competing but still want to be able to perform deadlifts and also for athletes who want to develop power through the deadlift movement but are not cannot afford to get injured and miss time in their sport so it's a really great tool for that so I'm going to do a quick little demo, show you guys how to use this bar correctly, just because I see a lot of people use it incorrectly. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that you're centering yourself on the bar. It helps to pretend that there's a bar going across here and that's resting against your shins. From there, we want to make sure that when we grab the bar, we're grabbing it in the center. And this basically should be in line with your shins, okay? You don't want to make sure, you, make, you want to make sure you're not grabbing too far in front because then when you initiate the pull, if your hands are too far forward, it's going to pull you forward and it's gonna cause you to round over and your hips will shoot up first and then you'll round your back and then you'll stand up. From there, we're gonna grab the bar tight, squeeze our shoulder blades and then sit our, our butt down while trying to pull our chest up slightly, okay? Neutral head, neutral spine. We're gonna sit our butt down, pull our chest up and that's going to create tightness through your body. You're going to be able, it's going to feel like if you were to let go of this, if you were to let go of the bar, you would fall over backwards. Pull the shoulders tight, sit back, chest up, and then stand straight up. Okay? Head is neutral, shoulders are back. And then as we go back down, we're going to squat backwards, right back down to the side. Back up again. Okay? We don't want to tuck our chin. And we don't want to arch our neck up. Both of which will compromise your pull and compromise your position as you get to the heavier weights. It's very much similar to doing a squat with this than it is like a traditional deadlift. Like I said, the, the form is slightly different, so it doesn't have a lot of carryover to traditional deadlift. So if you get really strong with this and then you go over to a regular deadlift bar, you're not necessarily going to see dramatic improvements, okay? You may see a little bit, obviously, because you're building muscle and building strength, but it's not going to have a dramatic impact on your traditional deadlift. Like I said, it's a great bar, it's a great tool. It, it, that's all it really is. All these, all these specialty bars, none of them is going to make or break your, your training, but they are all tools to help elevate you towards your goals. Feel free to leave some comments below. Any questions you guys may have, leave them below, leave them in the comments. Make sure you guys hit that like button too because it really helps the videos more than you know. I'll leave a link to Rogue Fitness below where you can buy this trap bar that we have. It's a 60 pound trap bar, it's a really good one. I enjoy it, it's one of the best trap bars I've used personally. Uh, I've used some really crappy ones in the past but this is a really, really good quality bar. I like it a lot and I like the fact that it has the double double handles. Make sure you guys check out gunsmithbrand.com. We just released brand new sweat shorts and tank tops on the site. Plus we still have hoodies, tees, and women's racer backs and baseball tees up there still too. But yeah, check out gunsmithbrand.com. Got a bunch of cool stuff up on the site. Appreciate you guys for watching. Till next time. Peace.